guys, in terms of the Nintendo Direct that's happening tomorrow morning, in actually a few hours, man, uh, like probably less than 10 hours at the point that this video is uploaded, we are going to go across a couple of topics, just a few, a few short ones. First thing, um, the Nintendo World Store in New York City, the one in Rockefeller Center, they're holding an event where they're going to be watching the Direct tomorrow morning, actually. So Nintendo World's like, join us at Nintendo World on January 14th at 9 a.m. Eastern to watch the Nintendo Direct live. So if you live in New York City, this will be something cool to go to. My black ass ain't going there for a multitude of reasons, but the biggest one being that Nintendo World is ass when it comes to hosting these events. I'm sorry, they're probably going to see this, but it's gotta be said. The Nintendo World Store has no seating to the extent to accommodate these events whenever they have people come through. The Smash Brothers tournaments, while they were fun, there was no seating, it was very uncomfortable, and you know, it was still a great event. I'm not like shitting on the event that much, it's just that the, it's not very accommodating, so I probably won't show up there myself, and you know, considering that there'll be a ton of people there since they made a status like this, and they probably have it updated on their webpage and whatnot, there might be a lot. There may not be a lot of people because it seems like they did this last minute, but if there are, it's gonna be a little uncomfortable unless they have seats for everybody. So hopefully, you know, Nintendo World, if you watch this or anybody who has access to try to change something at Nintendo World, get more seating for these events. They don't put seating in there regularly because they don't want people hanging out and loitering in the place. They had a problem with that a couple of years ago when Nintendo World was called the Pokemon Center and they had to constantly kick kids out, like teenagers like myself back then because, you know, oh, you know, you can't hang out around here after school, blah, blah, blah. Get the hell out, you stupid kids. So, I mean, hey, that's why I'm not going to be going, but if you live in New York City, you want to see the stream at Nintendo World, why don't you go down there? They'll probably have some giveaways as well, too. Now, the next thing that I wanted to talk about is that today we just got confirmation of the new 3DS release date in the United States. The new 3DS will be released in the U.S. on February 13th. That's exactly one month from this day right now. Pretty crazy news, man. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to this. The only place that I feel conflicted is that I don't know if I want to get a new 3DS XL or a new 3DS regular because while the new 3DS XL is, of course, bigger, better material, it has actually somewhat of a faster processor according to tests that I did a while back in an older video of mine where it compared how fast they did things like load up games, downloads, and all that. So the XL has slightly better hardware than the regular new 3DS, but the new 3DS comes with custom faceplate. So I mean, I feel like the customization of the faceplates of the regular new 3DS is such an amazing feature that I feel is really stupid that it's not included in the XL. But what do you guys think of this? Either way, I'm very conflicted in which one I'm going to get. I guess I'll probably settle with the XL new, but the regular new, the faceplate customization is so cool of a feature that I might just get both. One to play on outside and then one to just record games on at home. I mean. They're both really sexy systems and they both bring them to the table in their own unique way, so hey. And now the final piece of news that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Oh, also, by the way, this is another article confirming that the 3DS XL new and the regular 3DS new are getting released in America on the 13th. So, earlier today reported that a source in GameStop upper management confirmed the trade-in deals for the new 3DS and since then a release date has been added to the GameStop system. I'll have these linked in the description. But the final piece of news we gotta talk about is this goddamn leak that happened a few days ago. This leak is archived on 4chan. And I don't know what it is with all these leakers going to 4chan. I mean, leakers always have been on 4chan ever since the dawn of 4chan. But I mean, it's a great place for these guys to go when they have insider information. And don't worry, this isn't just a sheet of paper that was printed. There's a lot of things which make this leak credible. And then again, I'm talking to you as if you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Everyone's been showing me this shit, so of course, a lot of you guys are going to be informed, but here's the here's the nutshell version for you if you weren't informed. Someone posted on 4chan on the 12th of January, so two days ago, one day and 19 hours ago specifically, and they posted that the Direct was going to happen on the 14th, they posted everything that was going to be happening in the Direct, they even have information in terms of when the spacing is going to go down. It's crazy. They have all this crazy information and there were so many things that fit the hallmarks that this is archived now because it just seems so real. I work my, I'll read through a little bit of it, I'll have this linked in the description. I work minor PR for Nintendo and managed to catch a glimpse of what the next Direct holds. I'm gonna try to post everything I remember. And remember, this was posted two days ago. First off, 
Whenever you see those shitty pamphlets with a list of games, ignore them because they're pure bullshit. The way directs are managed are that they are incredibly segregated, and each PR group has to record a separate video for their chunk, and then upper management slots everything in. So basically, if I'm part of the Pokemon crew and we have something to you know, showcase on the direct. The Pokemon crew doesn't know what the other crews are doing, nor do they know what else is going to be in the direct. Everyone in the Nintendo doesn't know uniformly, so therefore speaking, you can't really, it's more difficult that way for leaks to happen. So I mean, I, wait, so let's see, I saw my boss working on edits, editing everything into place when I went to deliver my slot piece. Nintendo does this so that only high level PR and management is aware of the content of directs until right when they air, and also lets them quickly change things if needed. Something interesting is that the new 3DS was actually planned for worldwide launch, but Nintendo suffered supply constraints so that they slotted in the supply indie interview for Dead Space. Okay, whatever that means. Uh, well, then again, I'm kind of reading this a little fast. My brain processing power is lowered whenever I'm reading something out loud. Anyways, this direct is scheduled for Wednesday the 14th. So that is a huge boost in credibility to this guy. He posted this on the 12th, and he said, yeah, it's going to happen in two days. And sure enough, Nintendo, the Direct happens in two days. Kind of crazy. All those pamphlets predicted later on in the month. None of them expected that it would be released. Like, none of them expected that it would be announced so soon to the actual debut. Like, Nintendo announced this thing within the last three days, and it's happening in those three days. It's crazy. So, um... It's going to happen Wednesday the 14th, the same time as the media event. The first thing shown is a teaser trailer for the new Metroid. So, you know, if we look at that direct in a few hours tomorrow morning, if we wake up and we see that direct and the first thing that we are shown is Metroid, everything else that I'm about to read is 100% true. It doesn't show much, just some early gameplay. I think this is the first Zelda... Um, I think this is the first Zelda ALBW trailer. What, what is it? I guess it's the um, new Wii U version that's coming out. Now, don't worry, it's not a 2D Metroid. It's, no, it, oh, oh, now don't worry. It is a 2D Metroid in a 2.5D style. It's being made by Intelligent Systems and the graphics have a smooth look. Kind of like Metroid Other M, but not as extreme. Samus was not in the screenshot, but it looked like it could have been SR388. That just might be wishful thinking though. Release is early 2015. Next, there is Kirby and Rainbow Curse. Okay, let's move on. After that is Codename Steam, which I had to arrange a trailer for, so that looks pretty cool. And next we have um, Dr. Mario. Wait, next we have Mario Party 10 trailer. Okay, like I said, you know, I'm not that big of a fan of Mario. A lot of people say, you know, how can you not be a fan of Mario? I'm going to clear this up right now. When I say I don't like Mario, it's not in terms of his, his games. Like his games are like probably the highest quality games that you can buy out there in terms of a certain age group. Like his games are amazing. They're, they're super high quality. I just don't like him as a person. Like I mean, considering that you know I grew up with Sega and Sonic. I kind of got used to how Sonic was back in the old days, and I kind of just got a grudge against Mario. It's nothing like serious where I hate Mario games in terms of the gameplay. Like, you know, I, if you give me a Mario game, I'll have fun, but I don't like Mario. <laughs> I like Wario. I love Wario. <laughs> now, Wario's my dude, but Mario's a bitch. <laughs> I'm going to get a whole lot of hate for this. I can already read the shit in the comments. There's also a new Mario Maker trailer, and you know, um... Miyamoto is actually pushing that Mario Maker thing pretty hard. When he had his interview with Smosh earlier, he was actually talking a lot about the Mario Maker and how, you know, revolutionary it's going to be. Well, we kind of had stuff like this already, but not official Nintendo licensed stuff. But I mean, it's, it looks interesting, you know, the fact that you can play through levels and kind of make ones that he... One thing that he said which is interesting is that um, he said people usually try to make easy levels for people, but that's the toughest part. They usually wind up just making levels that are impossible to play through with the Mario Maker. So um, funny shit there. And then um, there's also an indie block with some small talk about Gunman, Clive 2, Affordable Space Adventures, Steam World Heist, Oil Oil, and some other things. And speaking of little indie stuff, well, maybe not indie, but you know, I don't think it's indie, but Splatoon looks like an amazing game as well. It seems like the mechanics for that are going to be great for multiplayer fun, so you know, have a bunch of friends over, and hopefully you can play it online too. And once again, you know it's going to have that very polished Nintendo feel with controlling the character, then it feel very organic, natural, smooth. It looks like an amazing game I can't wait to get my hands on it um, the trailer a trailer that shows Japanese Mario themed puzzle game dragons Z and whatever 
which has Reggie doing some funny things in it, along with a trailer for Bravely Second and Final Fantasy Explorers both being published by Nintendo, so that's interesting stuff there as well too, you know? Like Nintendo's got Final Fantasy in their hands once again for this title, let's see what they do with it. And um, in terms of the uh, Mario stuff, you know, like I said, not really too interested in that, but now the next paragraph does have some interest to me to an extent. This is going to be what looks like an expansion pack for Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, and it contains the Battle Frontier, which has been made much larger and actually has some roots separating sections with lots of new Pokemon hidden there and trainers and stuff. The price is $9.99 and it releases worldwide late February, so I already know everyone's going to be losing their shit over this. Battle Frontier is something that a lot of people complained about when they saw that it was not in um, Oraz, but I mean, hey, you know, you're getting your cake and you're eating it too. There will also be another Yoshi Yarn trailer that's cool, and there's going to be, here's the part that I love, because I already read this, but I mean, here's the part that I love. Maybe I shouldn't have read it until I was on camera, but oh well. There's going to be a lot of Xenoblade X info shown. There will be a new story trailer shown to um, show some alien companions and gamepad functionality shown off more where you can have your arts on the touchscreen and can direct orders to your partners in battle. Has more of a auto has more of Autism Chan as well. Who the hell's Autism Chan? Maybe this is something I'm missing out on. Or maybe that's the girl that's with you in the trailer. I mean, either way, Xenoblade X is probably the game that I'm the most hyped for this year. Final Fantasy XV is another one. You know, and because I'm a fucking huge weeaboo, of course these games would be in my most anticipated list, but I mean, Final Fantasy XV and Xenoblade Chronicles X, they look, they look like amazing titles, man. They look like they're going to do their best to redefine the RPG genre, maybe even the JRPG genre, because they are technically JRPGs in a sense. But I mean, they look like amazing games, and I just I just can't wait to play those, man. I actually have the demo of Final Fantasy XV coming in soon, because I pre-ordered Type O, the Deluxe Edition. So, I mean, hey. And now, uh, let me see, let me see. Also, remember that web framework NST was working on? Well, they finished MVDK for Wii U. Also has cross compatibility with 3DS. Apparently, Nintendo looks to have a couple of tech demos to show it off with future mystery games announced. Now, MVDK, what exactly is that? Let me see. Steam Community. Uh, let me see. What game is this? Uh, well, I mean, that's not a game. I guess. I guess I. Um, I don't really know it off the top of my head. But uh, like, like I said, I'm not really information based. I'm just a fan going crazy over reading this shit. Anyways, the big thing is the N 3DS. Well, guys, <laughs> the list is fake. <laughs> the list is fake. Everything I just read is fake. It, oh, shit. Anyways, the big thing is the Nintendo 3DS stuff. This is going to be the last segment, and it will be officially announced to be released on January 26th. But we just got a confirmed date of February 13th. Does that... that I think that ruins the credibility of the entire thing. I think the entire thing's compromised now. I mean, what do you guys think? Everything seemed to have fit into place. He even predicted the day. But when you think about it, the story does sound a little bit shifty. Like, what, you just taking the slot to your boss and you saw all this in perfect detail to describe everything to us? Seems a little odd and fishy to me. And plus, getting that date wrong for the 3DS release, it's bad. But then again, did the 3DS really get officially announced yet? This is something that's being shown from GameStop. So a GameStop employee took a picture of this and literally um, uploaded it. Nothing official really has come out yet, I guess. And even this article says that um, we have a source from GameStop Upper Management. So you know, basically, we're. I, I don't think it's been officially revealed yet, the release date of the new 3DS in America, but this definitely does raise some questions because we have one source saying that it's going to be February 13th, and it's a very reliable source. And then you got this guy on 4chan. The only thing that he really got right here that kind of makes his argument have some kind of weight to it is the fact that he predicted the day of the direct. But maybe he just got lucky. Anyone can predict the day, right? Or maybe he just got, maybe he is actually legitimate, but maybe he only got part of it correct. Maybe he doesn't know what he's talking about. Maybe he got a detail wrong. I don't know. But does this ruin the list credibility to you? I don't know, me? 50-50. There will also be trailers for Xenoblade, Majora's Mask, Monster Hunter, some Ban Bamco? Oh, Bandai, oh, Bandai um, Capcom? New IP? 
which looks like a port of either Resident Evil 4 or Remake, and surprisingly what looks like an exclusive Ninja Gaiden 3D game. The Monster Hunter 4 U demo, um, Ultimate demo, will be announced to launch the day of the Direct. So he's saying that basically a Monster Hunter 4 um, Ultimate, is that what's called? Ultimate? Is going to be announced the launch day of the Direct. I didn't really play Monster Hunter um, for the 3DS yet, but I mean, I'm definitely looking to get into it. It looks like a great series, and um, the rest of the games will have M3DS exclusive titles, including Zelda. All right. Hmm. Important to say, I did not see anything about Smash. I didn't see anything about Smash or another Mario game, any Atlas games, and Bayonetta shit or otherwise. So we're probably not going to see any Shin Megami Tensei X, um, X uh, Fire Emblem. So I mean, hey. Either way, I'm going to have this linked in the description. Check this out for yourself. See the details. Break it down. You guys are going to have a lot more, a lot more analytical ability on this whole thing than I do right now because you'll be seeing this in the video, and then you can think about it. Leave your response in the comments. Let me know what you think about this whole thing. Does the list still have credibility? And uh, if you think it does, are you excited for these titles? I'm really excited for Xenoblade. Everything else seems cool to an extent with me, but I mean Xenoblade is definitely the biggest thing for me. Anyways guys, so we only have a few more hours until this is all confirmed, so the wait is not going to be that torturous. Just a few more hours man, and everything will be laid to rest, so I mean it's just fun speculating everything until then. I'll talk to you in the next video however, and once again, catch my live stream of me watching direct if you want to stay in the know and stay with your boy. Take care of yourselves, and of course as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.